Emmanuel Macron was one of the first to vote at his local polling station in the northern coastal town of Le Touquet. Ça va? Ça va, the French president was up early for the final round of an election that he hopes will give him a parliamentary majority so he can push ahead with his reforms. Results from the first round have put his political movement on track for a landslide. It will make for him like very, very easy to implement the kind of policy, policy that he has uh, promised the French people like to implement if he was to be elected. Uh, the first thing like probably will be like uh, uh, the possibility for him like to change the law for the labor, labor market. He has been campaigning on this theme, which is like a very sensitive issue in France. The first round was a setback for France's other political parties. Far-right leader Marine Le Pen also voted in northern France where she's running for a seat. She had hoped the National Front would become the main opposition, but only a handful of her candidates are left in the race. Socialist and Conservative leaders blamed low voter turnout for last Sunday's poor results and urged their supporters to vote in greater numbers. But at midday local time, turnout was low. It's been very quiet at this Paris polling station. Many people in France are choosing not to vote because they're fed up of politics and politicians they say don't relate to them. And then there are others who believe it's a done deal for Emmanuel Macron, so what's the point? And then there's simply election fatigue. We've had too many votes and at this time of year people have other things to worry about. Since November we've had many elections. What I find a real shame is that so many young people don't seem to care. Which candidates will occupy the 577 seats in the National Assembly will become clear after polls close at 8 p.m. in France. Only then will President Macron find out if the balance of power has really tipped his party's way. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.